too freaking clean this apartment. Um, it's a lot going on. Y'all see all of that. And then I got a haul from Pretty Little Things. And I just throw everything out to see, make sure I've had everything. So I got to put it all back in the bag. That's going to be a video coming. And then I have crap literally in my bedroom on the floor my living room floor i just gotta get everything situated my washer and dryer is gonna be delivered tomorrow um so yeah i got a lot to do and then i have my end of the year evaluation meeting with my boss at um 1 30 it is 12 23 so as long as i can at least get the kitchen the kitchen clean and the dining room if i can clean those two before 1 30 i'll be good to go um i gotta go to the bank after i'm done with talking to him also i'm gonna stop by sign and give me something to drink Lately you been tripping, baby. You know what I'm saying? What's up with you? Nah, I'm just telling you, like, if it's how you back, bruh. You say you love me, you don't mean it. You know this all I want. I said, and lately you been distant. Baby, why you tripping? You know this all I want. I said, and lately you been missing. Girl, you acting different. You know this all I want. I said, now lately. So, y'all, this is good. Um, y'all, y'all know my wash and dryer is coming tomorrow. But I also got a new, uh, what the heck? I got a new uh, dresser for my room. I got a nine drawer. Right now I have a six drawer, which is like a kitty one. But I needed more space since my apartment isn't that big. I needed um, a little bit more storage for my clothes. So that is coming tomorrow too, around the same time. Um, a little salty because I ain't got nobody to help me to do to move this stuff. Like Lowe's is putting my washer and dryer in the washer, in the pantry. But I gotta move in this dresser by myself. So it's an outdoor delivery, and my ex is nowhere in town so i was gonna get him to help me but he's not here so i am on my own um because he's out of town my brother lives out of town i don't have any guy friends that are here like literally all my guy friends live out of town um and yeah i have nobody to help me so Y'all pray for me on moving this dresser from outside of my apartment to my bedroom. That is going to be hard AF. I hope it's not heavy. But from the description, it's already put together. I just have to put the knobs on it. So. And then I hope it's not going to be downstairs like they did my freaking mattress and my bed frame because I was peed off, y'all. They delivered my mattress on the other side to the other part of my building on the first floor. So I had to drag that crap all the way from over there to over here and bring it upstairs because I'm on the second floor. Then my actual bed, they dropped it off in the corner and the breezeway where anybody could see and just go pick it up. So, the only thing Wakefair did good was my sofa. The guys that delivered it were supposed to leave it. I was supposed to be here when they delivered it, and they were supposed to just deliver it in the hallway. But they were so nice, and they was like, um, we ain't gonna do you like this. Like, we supposed to charge you to move it into the living room, but we not gonna do it. So they ended up just going ahead and putting it in the living room. So, cross fingers that it's those guys that do it, if not, I don't know. And then I burned myself trying to cook breakfast this morning. Y'all see it? I got a little boo-boo. I was trying to make um, waffles. 
and bacon, and I burned myself trying to get my bacon out of the It hurt, but it is what it is. But I'm just excited that both of my big purchases are gonna be here at the same time, so I don't have to call off of work more than once because I'm going to work from 8 to 12 tomorrow and I'm taking off for doing a half day so I'm taking off at 12 because my washer and dryer is coming between 12 and 4 and the girl said that my dresser is supposed to be here two between 2 and 4 so they might show up at the same time I don't know but yeah so I'll be here so yeah, I'm excited. Let me finish cleaning up because that just made my day. So now I got to freaking clear out my drawers in my freaking closet, not my closet, in my dresser in my room. <sighs> this sucks. Excuse how I look. Been really bummy today. Um, I did go look at three houses. Um, and they were horrible. To be at the price that they are, like, they were ugly. The inside was trash, like, ugh. And one smelled, like, mildewy. So, yeah, that's, that's dead. Um, so let me give you an update on, y'all can hear my TV. I'm watching Aaliyah face. Um, but... <laughs> My washer and dryer never freaking came. Never came. So, the time was from 12 to 4 yesterday. And my dresser was from 2 to 6. Okay. So, I took a nap. Now, mind you, I took off work. I got off early. Took a nap. Around like 2 something. I'm like, okay, they never called. Like, they haven't called me. And you're supposed to call me two hours before, like, you arrive. Never called. Nothing. So, I called my mom. I was like, where's my receipt? She's like, well, just stay there. They might be running behind. You know, blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Four o'clock rolls around. I'm pissed. I'm livid. Like, no washer and dryer. No nothing in sight. I had called. Nobody answered. So, my mom called. Nobody answered. And then she called customer service. Custom service, the lady was really nice, whatever, blah, blah, blah. You know, they shouldn't have told her, told y'all that they were coming at this time. The girl that sold y'all the washing dryer, she wasn't supposed to put that on the receipt. She wasn't even supposed to say anything because of COVID. Anyways, so she was nice. She was like, well, if they don't come by 730, call back. Now, mind you, my dresser was supposed to come. It was 5.30 something, 5.40. I had to call them, y'all. I called them. They were nice. The man was really nice. He was like, they're actually pulling up at your gate. So, that was fine. So, my dress is here, and I'm loving it. Although, I woke up this morning looking like, why is my TV so high? But, yeah. I love my dresser. I think I'm going to decorate the ends of it. But, back to the story. Ooh. Jesus. Uh -huh. Seven... 7.15 rolls around, and I'm like, they're not coming. And I didn't want my mama to be out late, because I literally stay on the outskirts of the city. So she would have to drive back to the city to get home, which is not, it's probably like 20 minutes. But I just didn't want her out late at night. So we call back, excuse me, Um, a guy named Chris, which I'm guessing he's like one of the managers, shift leads, whatever. He had to be a manager from what he did. He was like, I was like, hey, you know, he asked me for her name. I was like, Leah, blah, blah, blah. He was like, you got the washer and dryer Samsung, right? And I was like, yes. He was like, I actually have your file up right now. They were supposed to call you this morning um, to let you know that it was damaged to your washer or dryer. One of them was damaged or something. But they were supposed to call. He was like, I'm sorry. He was really apologetic. Now, customer service were really nice. Point blank, period. He was like, I'll give, I'll refund you $200 for the trouble that you were caused, you know, since you had to take off of work and nobody showed up, whatever. The girl that he was like, the one that sold you the dryer, washing the dryer, I think her name's on my receipt. I hope it is. But he said her name. Was like, well, I'm going to have her do some research just so, she, so she can see another date to reschedule the delivery. She's going to call you before the night's over with. 
did I get a call? No. I did not get a call. So we waited till today to see if I was going to get a call. My mom was like, we're going to wait till 12. You know, give them 12 to call you back. 12 o'clock rolls around. No call. So now my mom's back on her way over here because she's going to take me to basically get a refund. I'm done. I tried to support Lowe's because, you know, the CEO is black. And I was trying to, you know, do the right thing and support black, you know, professionals. But um, Mr. Lowe's CEO, man, you need to get your peoples together because I am displeased. This is the second time I've had trouble with Lowe's with this freaking washer and dryer. The first time I ordered it online, they didn't even take the money out of my account. And they were supposed to call me 48 hours after I ordered it to confirm that I'm purchasing it so we can set up a delivery date. That never happened. So I had to cancel that one and I went in store to order it. Just to not get my washer and dryer. So, yeah, we're going to go cancel it. Um, Thanks for the $200. But just give me the rest of that with that $200. Because I'm over it. I never received a call. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I'm just floored and pissed. Like, So, now we're going to go where my aunt sent us the first time. And I should have listened to Twin. But I was like, well, Lowe's had it on sale. And, you know, that's what I get for bargain shopping. Um, even though it really wasn't bargain shopping, but hopefully, fingers crossed, it's, it's still available at that place my aunt told me. But yeah, that was my little rant about Lowe's. But yeah.